Hey, it's Dave White with Quad City Safety here to talk about APF, Assigned Protection Factor. So when we talk about respirators, there's different types and styles of respirators. We can have, you know, a filtering face piece, half face, full face. We can have uh, PAPRs, personal air purifying respirators, or even an SCBA where we're actually um, plugged up to a different set of atmosphere, but we're going to really kind of hit on filtering face pieces here. Uh, so with that said, what that kind of gets into is OSHA and all the scientists have figured out, okay, we're just going to use this green ball as something that we can't have. I mean, this is just the uh, atmosphere around us, which is made up of nitrogen, oxygen, and some other stuff. So this kind of, all these little balls kind of represent what's, what's floating out around us. And when we're in industrial environments or construction, whatever you're doing, and all of a sudden we put other stuff into it, we may need to filter out. We're not necessarily completely purifying there. We're trying to get it down to allowable levels. So again, they have figured out we can have one ping pong ball of bad stuff. But the problem is, is a lot of environments that we're in, we have all the bad stuff in there. So we've mixed that into the atmosphere and now we're breathing a lot of green balls that we don't need to have. So when we talk about just a half face respirator or just a tight fitting face piece that's NIOSH approved, it has that APF of 10. So what that means is we said that we could have one. So when we say assign protection factor of 10, realistically means that we put 10 in here we can breathe that air with this APF of 10. So basically what that does is again, we're filtering out all the bad stuff. So let's say that um, in higher concentrations, so if all of a sudden the 10 that we put in here were went up to 50 and we could still only have one, no longer would a half face be sufficient. The environment may require you to be in a higher APF of 50 like this full face. And thus, again, just imagine five times the amount of green balls and we're still always trying to get down to where we're filtering it out all but one piece uh, or part per million or however it's measured there. So keep in mind that when we're wearing respirators, it's not as easy as just putting it on. It's understanding what's out there, what we're trying to filter, and what the concentrations are. A lot of times, again, we'll have to bring in industrial hygienists in to help us understand what's there or do some type of analysis to figure out what the concentrations are. So then we can work backwards to figure out whether we need to actually just bring a soldier or bring the cavalry. So with that said, if you have questions trying to figure this out, because it can take a little bit of math, a little bit of understanding, looking at MSDSs and chemicals, as well as maybe bringing in a, an expert to really help you do that analysis, please give us a call.